Hello, welcome to Wednesday. This is the show where I take a look at some cool, lighthearted and positive stories from around the web and bring them all together for your viewing pleasure. First up, actor Josh Gad, the voice of Frozen's Olaf, did the extraordinary on his new show Reunited Apart. He reassembled the cast of The Goonies via webcam and brought warmth to the hearts of millions. Please welcome the cast of The Goonies. Josh, T, Martha, Carrie, Corey, Sean, Jeff. In case you're not familiar, The Goonies is a 1985 adventure movie written by Chris Columbus and Steven Spielberg and is one of the greatest films ever made. If you haven't seen it, seriously go and watch it. Josh managed to bring back most of the iconic cast, namely Mouth, Mikey, Brand, Chunk, Data, Andy, Steph, Jake and Francis. Steven Spielberg, director Richard Donner and Chris Columbus also stopped by to reminisce. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a great watch and will just get you crying out for a 2020s Goonies sequel. It was also all done in the name of charity for the Center for Disaster Philanthropy, an awesome thing done for a great reason. So head over to Josh Gad's YouTube channel to watch it in full. The link is in the description. And from the past now to the future, if like me you were a kid in the 90s and loved those action flicks, it was a great time to be alive. The Rock, Face Off, Under Siege, Broken Arrow, Terminator 2, I mean, my god, what a great decade to be a teenager. And one of the greatest action movies of this time period has to be Demolition Man, the story of a maniac cop unfrozen into a utopianish future to hunt down his his old nemesis before he destroys civilization was just great and was brought to life by Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes and Sandra Bullock. Now it seems Stallone has confirmed during an Instagram AMA that a sequel is being worked on by Warner Brothers and is looking fantastic. We're working on it right now with uh, Warner Brothers and it's Looking fantastic. There are no other details at this time, like whether any of the other cast members have signed up, but if the big man says it's happening, that's enough for me. Check out the rest of the AMA on Sly's official Instagram account, Official Sly Stallone. With the recent release of Alex Garland's fantastic miniseries, Devs, he took a look at a world where quantum computing was being used for some nefarious reasons. But in the real world, it has been four years since IBM launched their open source quantum computing challenge. And to celebrate the anniversary, IBM have once again given anyone the chance to do some quantum programming using their quantum hardware. If you think you've got what it takes to take part in the four challenges, you only have one day left. Now, I'm not going to go into the details about quantum computing because I don't know them. But anyway, to learn more and to take part in those challenges, head over to their website. And lastly, for any fans of the Prince of Persia game series from Ubisoft, it was revealed that they have registered the domain PrinceofPersia6.com. Like many of you, I've been waiting with bated breath for another entry in the series, and this could well mean an announcement is imminent. It is interesting for this to be flagged as six, though, as there have been two trilogies in the main story run for the Prince, the original, and the Sands of Time series. There have also been a number of spin-offs and mobile games. Now, The Forgotten Sands in 2010 returned us to the Sands of Time series, but was actually four stories in one. So. I've got to admit that I have no idea where we will rejoin the prince. If this is a continuation of Sands of Time, which seems most likely, then surely it should be number five or number eight, depending on how you're counting. I mean, my math is probably just off, but it does seem there are still some questions. Well, that does it for this Wednesday. Check back next week for more happy headlines that I have scoured from the net, and I will try to keep you smiling.